What's happening? It's your math tutor, Thrash City. Did it teach your job? That's how to multiply. The straight one. Learn with Thrash City. We finna multiply! Now, last couple sessions, we conquered a couple different topics. We took down addition, we took down subtraction. Those are the math equivalent of the Elite Four. Up next, we got multiplication. But Thrash City, how do you even multiplication? Don't even trip. I got the dictionary definition right here. Check it. Multiplication. Remember when you was at school cussing out your teacher? And she was like, I'm finna tell your mama. And then you was like, bet. And she was like, oh, on oh, Miss Frizzle's magic school bus. Bet. Counter. So she called your mama while she at work on speakerphone in front of the class. And your mama answer and go, ooh, when you get home, you already know. And hang up. That's how you know you done fucked up. She didn't even say what she's finna do to you. So when you get home, not only is your mama there, your auntie there, your grandma there, your daddy came back, your mama side piece there, your daddy, auntie, mama, sister, cousin is there, and guess what? They all got switches. Congratulations, you just went from getting one whooping to seven. Multiplication. Let's get it on and pop it! Learning objectives. What it look like. What's really good with it? An example. I already know what you're thinking. Chill. There has city on a scale of one to one hundred. How much you gonna use multiplication, Bruh, You ain't Tom Hanks, and this ain't Castaway. It's one hundred percent. You gonna need this. You want society with me and everybody else that use money, right? I did. What it look like? All right, cool. Multiplication looks a lot different from all those other topics we did, all right? It comes in a variety of different forms and they're different uses and stuff. So but what we're gonna start with is the X, right? We're gonna learn off the X. The dot is what we use when we do algebra, all right? Asterisk is for calculations on the calculator and Excel and computer and all that other stuff. But when you got a number on the outside of the parenthesis and a number on the inside of the parenthesis, that means multiplying together. We're gonna get into that when we do order of operations, which will be soon, all right? But what I want you to get into your mind right now, what you really need to understand is multiplication is like freezing. All right? A bunch of different forms, a problem, but once you get used to it, you're going to be able to prevail every time without fail in your mind. Do you feel when I rhyme? A little bit of fire for you, a little bit of fire, a couple hot bars. I'm going to keep it modest though. I'm gonna keep it modest though. We gotta keep this thing pushing. You feel me? On to the next lesson. What's well, really good with it? Now let's get into this. All right, so for an example, we're gonna take uh, three, right, times seven, right? Now, so seven and three are both factors. And that's facts. Anything that's being multiplied together is called a factor, all right? The answer. 21. How much math you know? A lot. Exactly. So the answer is actually going to be the product. That's a U. So we got 3 times 7 equals 21. It's a knife. The factors are 3 and 7. The product is 21. I need you to understand this though. Think of addition. Addition's basic, right? Multiplication is also basic. But multiplication is like super basic. I'm talking like a dude straight out of boot camp buying a Mustang super basic, all right? This is this is what it typically, th th this is how you break this down. Multiplication is three plus three seven times, right? So three plus three plus three plus three. One, two, three, four, plus three more times. But the thing is, ain't nobody got time for that. Don't nobody got time to put 
pluses forever. So what if we had 70? Now I ain't doing that. Now I ain't putting 73s. There's no need in doing that shit. But what I'm trying to convey to you is do it, do it like this. Don't do it like this. Examples. All right, so there are prerequisites for multiplication. In order for you to do this efficiently, effectively, you're gonna have to know your times tables. I'm gonna go ahead and put it up for you real quick. Anyways, we're gonna get started. All right, we're gonna keep it simple at first, right? We got the single, single digit times tables. All right, we're gonna go with a five times 12, right? Now most of you should already know the answer to this joint, okay? It's 20, off top, 20, bam, right? So doing single digit, that, that shit's easy. Come on, man, everybody could do that. But where it gets confusing is where we start using double digits, triple digits, tens, hundreds, thousands, millions in this joint. That's where it gets confusing, and that's what we're gonna go over. So let's get just a couple more examples in. I got you, don't even trip. So we gonna roll with a 13 times 12, all right? So what you gotta do is you gotta start with the ones place first, the 12, the two, I'm sorry, my bad, the two. Then take the two, put it into the three, three times two, six, bam. Two times one, two, bam, right? So now you need a placeholder. You're going over to the one, right? The one is in the tens place. So you gotta put a zero right here. And mark that is the tens place, all right? So you got one times three now. And that's gonna be three. One times one, one. So now, now that you got the 26 and the 130, you turn it into a whole addition problem. So you took the results of your multiplication and you add them together. Bam, right? Six plus zero, six. Two plus three, five. One, what does one do? It ain't adding to nothing, all it does is Bust down, Tatiana. Bust down, Tatiana. I wanna see you bust down. No. Bust down. You already know, Blue Face said it first. So, we got 13 times 12, and it equals 156. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna keep it pushing. Though. We got 387, right? Times 12. We're gonna do 12 again. Yellow, fuck it, right? So, the first thing you gotta do is take everything in the one, the very first number and multiply it by all other numbers, right? As you can see here, we already did that. We multiply this by here, multiply that by there. And then we did the same thing for the one. We multiply the one times the three, multiply the one times the one, right? So that's, it's the same concept. Bam, 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 bam. And then we gonna get an answer, all right? So we got seven, two times seven, 14. But check it out. You got an extra 10, like you, you went over. You went, you went, so you, you don't put 14 here. You put four, one at the top here, right? Little one, bam. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get to what that one does in a second. Check it out though, check me out. We got two times eight, 16, plus the one from the 14, add that one to it, right? So 16 makes it 17, bam. Same difference, take the one, put it right there. Two times three, six, plus the one from the previous number, right? That's gonna make it seven. Seven, you feel me? Now, we move on to the one. We did this, bow, bow, bow. Now we gotta do this. Bow, 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 you feel me? One times everything else. Gotta keep the placeholder though, cause we in the tens place now. It's a whole nother, whole nother uh, uh, column. So zero here, right? And then we go one times seven. Anything times one is that number, except for zero, of course. So we got seven, one times eight, eight. One times three, three. You feel me? Bam! And then what do we do? We turn that joint into an addition problem, right? That's why I said multiplication is like addition. But it's just super addition, it's super basic, you feel me? So we got four plus zero, four. Seven plus seven, 14. Carry the one, right? So eight plus seven, 
15 plus one, 16. One, right? So we got three plus one, motherfucker. Multiplication. And that's it. You did it. You made it to the end of the session. You just got knowledge, and I'm proud of you. I see you leveling up. Do your dance, do your dance. Do your dance, do your dance, do your dance, do your stop. Anyways, you got homework. Don't even trip though, because it's the easiest shit ever. All you gotta do is. And if you haven't already, don't forget, get you some born dead apparel. Link in the description. Upon checkout, I'm gonna save you a couple of dollars, you feel me? Use the code DTHRASH CITY. You know what I'm saying? Watch out, watch out, watch out! Ansem the handsome boy. Say what's good, Ansem. Alright, cool. Don't forget, visit www.deepthrashcity.com forward slash donate to support future sessions. That's gonna be it for today. I'm proud of you. Stay up and keep grinding. I'm gonna see y'all in the next session. Talking about bet. <laughs> bet. Like she wouldn't call your mom. Got me fucked up. Stainless, Stainless skill, skill beats. beats.